Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Joffrey Noodle Legs here today with another top 10. A bit of a different one today. Uh, well, <laughs> I always say that, don't I? But it's never different. Um, this is still a horror, so here we go. But what I'm doing today is my top 10 horror films that have a cult following. And what I mean by this is like, I think a lot of these films, if they didn't have a cult following, they would have disappeared and we probably never would have heard of them or watched them again or anything. But because they got sort of cult followings, they seem to become quite popular in the sort of horror genre and stuff like that. Because most horror films do have a following, like its own sort of fan base. Um, even Friday the 13th and Halloween and all the big Hellraiser, all the big films have their own sort of real big hardcore fan bases that follow and know the ins and outs and the lore of the whole films and stuff like that, which is great. And most of those have gone on to become sort of like big, sort of like um, big movies and sort of like uh, carried on with their franchises and sometimes have had quite a bit of money invested in it and stuff like this. But then there are some horror films that are a little bit more out there that... Um, have struggled for that, you know, to get that sort of, um, sort of strong sort of fan base. And they come what become sort of cult films, which are films that are, that, um, sort of, um, attract a certain type of person. And they, they these all attract me. I love them all. I, I, I consider myself a part of all these sort of cult fan base of all these films. But, um, yeah, but it, it's, it's a particular sort of, um, thing, you know what I mean? Where, Certain a lot of people think, oh my god, that's just the, the worst film I've ever seen. But then other people think this is so cool, it's great. Um, and I like those sort of films, as you well know. So I've done the top ten films of horror films that I believe have strong sort of cult followings. Um, so we're going to get into it. Start off at number ten, um, and this is um, on Arrow Video, and this is Slaughter High. There were so many sort of like high score movies that came out in the eight in the sort of 80s horror films sort of like slasher films um and most of them sort of like became quite popular including this one mostly down to the vhs rental market but this has got like a real sort of cult following where a lot of people are very passionate about the film um i've spoken to a few people and they're really you know, and a lot of other people, it's, like, it's a mediocre film. But to a lot of people, it's like, yeah, this is cool. This is like the best sort of slasher film we've ever seen. Uh, this is based on the guy here that's like a, like a, a sort of nerd at school. And he gets picked on and bullied by all the other school kids. They play tricks and pranks on him. And they play one prank on him too far. And he gets sort of like burnt by a sort of acid in the science lab. Um, and it's set again a few years later where he's going to try and get revenge on these kids that are doing that have done it to him. And he sort of like organises a reunion and he's there stalking them dressed like that. So that's Slaughter High. So that's number 10. Number 9 is a fantastic film from the 70s. Um, and I absolutely love it. And this is The Incredible Melting Man. Again, it's it's a real sort of niche market. The melting sort of market. There, are, I think there's probably one or two others in here. Uh, sort of melting films because it is a sort of like a required taste and this is about a guy who goes off to space and he sort of gets t too close to the sun and he picks up this radiation and he starts sort of melting and he goes on like a killing sort of spree and it's a really really cool film but it is sort of like people are just thinking well that's rubbish isn't it but um there's a cult following for this film that absolutely love this film um, and I think it's an underrated movie, if you ask me. I absolutely love the film. It's awesome. So that's The Incredible Melted Man, number nine. Hello, mate. Little Sullivan's here. Uh, number eight is one that's rarely, rarely ever gets talked about. And it's still a part of the sort of high school sort of uh, thing. Because a, a lot of the um, 80s movies come out of America. And they're all based on like the teen sort of high school sort of thing. And this is one that sort of slipped by most people, apart from its cult following. And this is called Pledge Night. 
Um, it's a it's a strange film. It's like a film of two halves. It's, the first part of the film is almost like a sort of um, um, 80s sort of sex comedy um, where the sort of pranks are all based around the sort of like these high school lads sort of setting themselves pranks to initiate them into this sort of like club. Uh, and in the second half of the film, it turns into like a slasher. Um, you know, so it's, it's, a, it's a film of two halves. I actually preferred the first part. Um, just because I, 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 it sort of reminded me of Animal House and Porky sort of thing. And in the second half slasher, it loses a little bit. But it's still fun. I still like it. It's cool. But it's, but it's got a real cult following, this Pledge Night. Um, and this has not long been out again. I mean, in the UK, we got it here on 101 Films. In America, I believe it's been released on Vinegar Syndrome. Um, but it's great to see this film back out on the market. It's a, it, it's a strange little film. Um, and I can see why it's got its own sort of fan base rather than the whole sort of horror genre or the sort of general public. But, yeah, Pledge Night, really cool little film. That's in at number eight. Number seven, this one was a bit difficult to put in there because it does have quite a big fan base. But I still believe it's still got um, the cult fan base is what's made it sort of survive. It's sort of like and still become really popular. And this is The Return of the Living Dead. One of the sort of comedy zombie movies. This came out when the zombie film started to really take off. Um, down to obviously George Romero's Day of the Dead. That came out in the 80s. Which really kick started the zombie sort of genre. Because there wasn't many uh, up till then. But obviously in the 70s we had Dawn of the Dead and stuff. But then we got to the 80s. And then the sort of zombie film sort of made a bit of a comeback. Um, and most of it was sort of comic, some comical sort of horror films, really. Even films like with people under the stairs and things like that. It was more of a comedy. And even on House, the House films has a few sort of bits with zombies sort of in it. Um, but yeah, this was a comedy sort of zombie film based on like a young lad who gets a job in uh, this sort of warehouse that sells like science products. Um, and down in the cellar. Um, the, the army have placed these sort of like sealed containers which contain something that's supposed to have happened years ago and they accidentally let it out and it goes into the air and into the graveyard and it, all the zombies come. It's, it's a good fun film. It's a really cool film. The, one of the best things about this film is the soundtrack. It's got music from the bands like The Damned and The Cramps and things like that. So it's a really cool soundtrack, really good film. And I think that's why it's got a cult base because a lot of the alternative sort of music scene people and the gothic scene people would like it because of the soundtrack so it's attracted them. So it's quite clever that they've done that. But this is a real sort of cult classic in at number seven, Return of the Living Dead. Number six is probably, I think, my maybe my only Italian uh, film in there um, because it's it's not one of the better ones. It's one of the sort of like dafter ones and not not as good as some of the others but it's got a real, its own little cult following and it's nightmare city this is another zombie film but it's got like the zombies are kind of like they, they act like normal people they even use weapons and guns and stuff but it's just like well what's that about uh, they just put dressed them up as zombies like almost really <laughs> and and so that that's where this film's got it's different it is still quite a good fun watch it's not the best um, Italian film to come out of Italy, but it's still quite a good, fun watch. And I can see why it's got its, its sort of own cult following. Uh, it is quite a good laugh. And this is Night City. That's in there at number six, is it? Yeah, number six. I'm into my top five. And number five is... <laughs> All oh, pieces. I had to pull it in there again. <laughs> I don't think I've only got through a top ten without putting pieces in there, have I? Really, this or Alien? <laughs> but again, I can. You can. If you watch this, you can see why it's got a cult following. And on this edition, it's got like a a cinema uh, audio commentary on there, where you can hear the people in the cinema watching it and sort of laughing and sort of cheering at the kills and stuff. And because it's, it's got a cult following and they will have regular viewings of this and people go along and watch it. And, that, and it's fantastic. It's such a awesome slasher movie. Is it the only slasher I've got in here? 
probably it's probably the only slasher in here actually um apart from slaughter high um but yeah it's um it's a great film it's set at high school again with a chainsaw killer who's so obvious but you know you can see him everywhere but they can't see him and like i told you before where the cops are just useless and the the kid that they talk to is better than the police and it's so it's so bad it's awesome but it is a really good film and the story is quite cool and it has great gore in there and some great kills so that's my number five quite low down for me isn't it that's pieces because i want these to be more about more cult sort of films that but that has definitely got a sort of hardcore following. So that's why I've put it in there. Uh, number four, a bit more obvious now, is a cult movie. And it's Street Trash. Uh, if you've seen my review of this on my channel, you can see why it's probably got a cult following. It's, a, it's a, another Melt movie. Um, it is it is a required taste. Um, it is quite gory. And there's a lot of um, um sort of like melting going on in the film and it is shot in a particular way pretty much most of the films coming up are all pretty much similar to the way this film sort of filmed um it's got that sort of grimy sort of uh look to the film which i really like and it has got its own fan base that absolutely adore this film and they absolutely love it and i can see why it's a great movie street trash Right, in at number three is a set of movies. Uh, sort of cheating in a way, but there we go. And this is the Toxic Avenger films. Again, it's another required taste. Again, it's about another young lad that gets Melvin, who gets picked on at school. He's an, uh, at a, no, not a school. He's like at a sports health bar, uh, spa club. And that he gets picked on by the people that go there. And he ends up being in an accident and falling into toxic waste. And becomes the Toxic Avenger, like a superhero. And they're sort of like, I don't know if class them as horror superhero films. But he he's um, he looks like that. And he's it's really strange because when he talks, he's got a voice like, Hey, don't worry about that. It doesn't just not suit um, the guy at all. But it's so cool. And it's really gory. And it's a lot of, it's a very, they're very violent films. But they're amazing fun. They're they're everywhere. They're crazy. They're like a bit like street trash. They're crazy and everywhere, and they're fantastic. Absolutely loves um, Toxic Avenger. And if you watch it and you like it, you can see why it's got a real strong cult following. Because yeah, they are required taste films, but they are awesome fun. That's in at number three, Toxic Avenger. Number two, one I'm not really talking about in this channel because it's been a while. It's been took me a while to pick it up. Um, and this is the class of Newcomb High. Again, it's very similar to Toxic Avenger and Street Trash. It's again based at a high school and like a nuclear sort of like accident and people get affected by these uh, gang creatures there. Uh, I managed to pick this up from a, as a gift. This was given to me by my son's friend from America who just came over to visit us all up here. And um, she gifted me this which is fantastic um and it's a great addition it's got two discs and it's got the booklet and stuff like that with it so it's really really cool i think there's a poster in there so i'm really glad to add that in my collection i saw this years ago and i used to own it on vhs i bought it on palace i think it was on palace video i'm sure it was uh years and years ago but it's a real cult film it's about these sort of like um outsiders at a school always causing trouble and then there's like this the, the, you know there's this obviously this nuke this sort of toxic thing that's all to do with the film i'll have to give us a watch and give it a review because it's been a while since i've seen it but i remember it being quite a sort of out there kind of film a bit like um street trash and toxic avenger huge cult following for that film and that's in number two so number one can only be killer clowns from outer space i mean i was going to put uh, the attack of the killer tomatoes in there but i went with killer clowns from outer space i thought well this is probably the ultimate cult film isn't it it's got a really strong cult following uh, absolutely love this film they think it's the best film that's ever been made and 
things like that. And and it's not. It's far from it. It's a great movie. It's great fun, and and it's really really cool. And the premise of the story: these are aliens from out of space, and they've come down. Their spaceship is like a a, a big top, and they they're sort of killing people around the town. And it's a, it's a great great film. It's good fun. Great popcorn movie. My my son saw this for the first time a few months ago, and he has fallen in love with it. So it's that sort of film. You're either abs. It's a marmite film. You'll love it or you'll hate it. And me and my son both love it. So that is my top ten uh, horror movies with a a strong cult following. Um, and I think without that cult following, a lot of these movies, um, Killer Clowns, uh, Pledge Night, would just disappear. And you probably would never, they would never be about and probably never been so sort of like quite popular. Because Killer Clowns is quite popular now. They've even made a video game of this, which is coming out soon. Um, so it's, it, and that's going to trigger that off even more for people to want this film. Um, and it's like, it's been out for years and it's still... They're still almost promoting it. <laughs> it's like, okay. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think that these films, a lot of these films would have just disappeared and probably been forgotten about if it didn't have a cult following that kept pumping, you know, wanting it, wanting this product. And it's sort of like, and these companies like Arrow, 88 Films and um, all these sort of companies, 101, pick these up. I think, yeah, because... They, they, these companies like to concentrate on cult movies, movies that are quite hard to find, uh, out, been out of print for a long time, but people still love it. You know, they've even kept their VHS players so they can watch these movies. Um, so that's my top 10. What's your, do you have any favourite sort of cult following sort of movies? Let me know down below what yours are. This is just a bit of a fun video to uh, to sort of like have a look at some of these sort of cult movies. Um, check out some horror channels for me, guys, before uh, you go to see any of my other videos. Check out Horror Hands, uh, Horror Geek, Man V Film, uh, Sarah of Horror, Pizzle well, um I Am Ice Lord, RS Designs, and um, Horror and Todge. All great channels, please, guys. Check them all out. Um, I'll be grateful if you do. Until next time, you look after yourselves, look after one another, and I really hope I'll see you all soon.